Hello everyone, Air Max here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the NVK driver on your own machine. So I don't want to talk too much there. Let's get into it right away. I'm going to explain it to you in every detail. Let's go. As always, I'm going to start with a little bit of context. Obviously, you want to install uh, those drivers and test them, but what you need to understand is that if you're already running the NVIDIA proprietary driver on your machine, removing the proprietary one and installing the NVK one can be a little bit messy. The type of distribution you have, if it's a stable or a rolling release, you might put yourself in a position which is not super comfortable. So my recommendation is to get a second SSD, like even like an old one like that, or even a new one. Now they are super cheap. I'm going to put a link in the description below. And what you're going to do, you're going to install Arch on this SSD. And the purpose is really to avoid to mess with your own operating system, because if you are on Arch, it could be relatively easy to remove uh, the actual like NVIDIA proprietary driver, uh, remove all the modules and make sure that everything goes smooth by installing like Nouveau and the two packages you actually need. It's going to be pretty straight to the point. But let's say you are on a Debian or Ubuntu based. Uh, it's it's going to be a little bit harder because there is a lot of requirements you're going to need to transition and test the NVK driver. So let me explain what type of requirement you're going to need. The first one you're going to need is the latest kernel, the 6.7 kernel. It's really important because the way this kernel has been built, it has already the NVIDIA blob inside it. So if you are trying to install NVK without those blob within your kernel, it's, it's going to be almost impossible. Second requirement is obviously to have an NVIDIA GPU. But as you can see here, not all the NVIDIA GPU are going to be treated the same. And if you look at, at the one which are actually working, there's the one past what they call the NV160 plus here. So you're going to ask me, like, Air Max, like, what are those NV160 uh, family type of GPU? Well, that's the Turing generation. So everything before. Uh, the 2000 series and the GTX 1650 here, because this one is, a, I would say, like the, the little exception that confirms the rules there. You won't be able to run NVK in a proper condition. Obviously, it's in the plan, as you can see here, for the depth team to add more and more compatibility. But at this level, and because of the way they work, if you want to test it, Turing, Ampere, or Ada Lovelace. Otherwise, you won't be able to test. Super important. You also need a recent version of Mesa. I think the minimum requirement is 23, Mesa 23. Like someone, please tell me in the comment below. Or long story short, the distribution, which is going to give you everything out of the bat and which is super easy to install just to test that, is going to be Arch. Listen to me, it's not worth it to go through all the headache, to compile Mesa, to compile a custom kernel, to remove everything related to the NVIDIA proprietary driver, go through all those assholes and just like test some games. Okay, like I believe it's not worth it. This is just my opinion. And obviously like in this type of tutorial, I can't cover everything. Now to install Arch, I already made a tutorial about it. I'm going to put a link in the description below like that. You're going to know exactly what to do. What is really important for you when you install the driver is to make sure you install the driver, which are the non-proprietary one the open source one. Okay, so I repeat, install the open source one. Don't install the proprietary one. That's all. You go through the install, everything should be fine. When you reboot after the install, just log in in whatever desktop environment you choose. For example, me, I went with KDE because I really like it. And then open a terminal and double check that you actually are running on the nouveau driver. And to do that, you're going to have to type LS mode space, uh, the, the, the vertical bar, I don't know what is the word in English, my bad, and then space grep vid. And here you should see uh, the nouveau driver popping off. You should be fine. If you have NVIDIA drivers there, 
I will tell you, just reinstall Arch. It's going to take you like five minutes or 10 minutes and make sure you don't install the NVIDIA driver. The second piece of software you're going to have to install is Paru. So Paru is uh, a package that helps you to install AUR packages. And because we're going to have to install AUR packages and compile them, it's way easier with Paru. So you can use Paru or you can use Ye. I like Paru. Here is a line you're going to have to uh, type in your uh, terminal. I'm going to put a link uh, to this GitHub too and with everything explained here if you want to go deeper. But really there is four lines to copy and pass there. You press enter and you have Paru. Now you have your Arch installed. You make sure you have the right nouveau driver installed and loaded. You have your AUR manager ready to install the only two packages you need to install there. The first one is called vulkan nouveau git and the second one is lib32-vulkan nouveau git So there you're going to do a paru space dash capital S dash and the name of those two packages there, then press enter. The installation is going to be a little bit long depending on your hardware because there is a lot of compilation. But don't be worried, like go make yourself a coffee, do something else. Uh, go touch some grass, as we say over there. Enjoy. After reinstalling everything, depending on your hardware, you might have to add a special kernel parameter. It's written here in their wiki. I guess it's their wiki there. Staring with Linux 6.7 user of Turing and Amper GPU can use the nouveau.config equal nvgsprm equal 1 to enable power management. It's enabled by default on Ada Loveless and newer. On this specific Arch installation I made for testing those drivers, I installed it using system dboot. You can do that with Grub too. Just make sure like you go on your Arch wiki and you check how to add a kernel parameter, but it's relatively easy. Uh, I went to the right uh, loader file there and I just added uh, the specific line. But just make sure you do it because if you don't do it, it's not going to work if you have a Turing or an Ampere card. Okay, really important. When it's done, just reboot and you should be good to go. So guys, you know me and the first thing I've done after installing the driver was to launch Valheim. And I really like Valheim because it runs natively. So I can't really have an idea of the performance of the driver without any type of layer in between uh, the actual driver and the game. And it was pretty interesting. So my, my first little like bench I did was uh, checking the difference between Wayland and X11 running the NVK driver. And I had a, a difference of about like 21% because the FPS was around like 95, like 100 on one hand and the other was more around like 115, 120 of the other hand. So I had a pretty like big upgrade by moving from Wayland to X11. So that's definitely something to know. Like if you want to stay on that or if you want to, uh, you know, test it deeper, the driver work on Wayland, but they are not as much as performance than on X11. And in this test, it's about like 20% difference. Now, another idea I had is like I went back to the previous video I made two months ago. And obviously the NVK drivers are being worked on. And I look at the difference compared to the, the video I, I shoot at the time and the, and the one here. And I noticed there were around like an 8% increase in terms of FPS, which is pretty awesome, guys. Okay, so I believe like their drivers, obviously they are not mature, but they are going in this direction where the performance is getting better and better. But, and there is a big but, <laughs> you won't be able to get the performance of the proprietary NVIDIA driver yet, at least from my test here on Valheim, because there is a solid like 75% decrease in terms of performance when you move from the proprietary driver to the NVK. So it's playable, but I'm guessing for more demanding game, uh, it's, it's going to be really hard to to get some nice and smooth uh, gameplay, that's for sure. Another point I want to mention is that there is no difference between the latest stable release of Mesa 
and the Git version of Mesa. So avoid yourself any trouble of like compiling Mesa. It's not that hard, but it's kind of complicated to be fair. Just take the Mesa delivered with Arch and they're going to be fine. There is not any performance increase uh, with the, the Mesa version like 24. Now guys, you know to install the NVK driver. The good news is like in the next version of Mesa, things are going to be implemented right away. So you won't have to do that anyways. But if you are impatient, because I've seen a lot of you asking in the comments on my previous video how to install them. Well, now you can do it. It's pretty straight to the point. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all, guys. Pretty, pretty uh, quick video, I guess. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I want to thank the members of La Crème de la Crème Club who are financially supporting the channel. If you had any type of value added, please think about supporting me. Give a thumbs up, share the video, or you know, become a, a member of La Crème de la Crème Club, I will really, really appreciate it. Guys, have a great rest of your day and uh, see you tomorrow in my stream. Yes, because tomorrow we have another challenge uh, on my stream. Bisous, bisous.